Hey, Roxana. How are you? How was your day, Roxana? Uh, it was cool. Thanks, teacher, and you. Uh, pretty good. I just, you know, the typical working, um, having to do send emails, reports, uh, writing documents. That's it. And you, Roxana, what is your typical day? Oh, uh, I wo I work in the morning. And in the afternoon, I went, I go to the gym to do exercise. Excellent. Like yeah, and hour. I walk with my dog after we walk, we, after I went to the, the, the gym. To the gym? Yeah. Okay. And Something else, oh, only that. <laughs> okay, uh, and do you go to the gym every day? No, only uh, Monday to Wednesday and Friday, three days per week. Oh, but that's good, you stay healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you go by yourself or with a friend or with someone else? Uh, I go... Well, I I I go to alone, mm -hmm. but but it's a aerobic class for many people, twenty or thirty. Some some time. Okay. More than and, thirty. Mm -hmm, it's a lot of people, huh? Yeah, it's free. It's free. Yeah. Why is free? Because it's it's for the it's a project mm -hmm. from the uh, I don't know how can I say authority in Chachuapa or alcaldía from the uh, from the city hall city hall city hall mm -hmm. yeah from the city hall okay hey that's a and nice then, that's a nice project yeah. It's nice. Uh, it, it this project uh, has a uh, fourteen years. Mm -hmm. It fourteen years. It's a long time. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. It is I good thought. for for uh, for for the the woman. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, help me uh, in my case help me uh, a lot uh, for my for to be healthier yes it sounds good yeah okay well i'm happy i'm happy that and uh, it's always three days or you only go three days mm, uh, at the moment is Three days. Okay. But the the instructor or mm -hmm. the coach yeah. gave, gave another class from um, Tuesday and 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 Thursday, but in other place. Um, and I and I don't go. Okay, that's why. It's okay. better for me to do exercise only three three times per week. Is better for your muscles because mm -hmm. you you need to to rest mm -hmm. a little your muscle one day yes it's necessary for the muscles needs to grow also yeah mm -hmm. great well i see we have some more other people also roxy we have luis we got doris marvin miguel you guys are ready? Any questions? Anything? 
for for them. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Oh, oh, Luis. Uh, how was your day? My day is is it was great, right? It was great. Um, I I it's the same right routine, but uh, I like it. I love to do. Uh, I was working in the Cuscatlan department. Okay. Yeah, the same, the same routine. Um, I prepare documents, uh, prepare a final, okay, or final report. Yeah, as because uh, this week finished the the month, the month. It's necessary. Uh, you know yeah. and do you like your job Luis? no 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 <laughs> no because uh would you yeah. like to change your job for another no 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 what it's is a, the... it is it, the same uh, it's, it's a normal uh, move uh for example uh and in that moment i i am working kohute peke I moved a good from there to to San Salvador uh, every day. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. It's for it's for the transportation. That, yeah. The okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Cojutepeque to San Salvador every day. It's a little. It's, it's, it's a little near. tiring. It's close. Yes, near. It's, it's no far away. Okay. Well, guys. Well. Thank you so much for sharing, Luis and Roxy. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started. We have a couple activities that we need to get. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we're going to wrap up with the unit with a reading to make sure. So here, Luis is going to read the first paragraph, Roxana the second one, Kalena the third one, and then we're going to have Miguel the next one, and then we just go in order, okay? Okay. Okay. I can be. Yes, please. Okay, travelers to a new city are often encouraged to take a bus tour, a bus tour. The thinking is that they can later return to the place that capti captivated mm -hmm. them, captivated them, but that's nonsense. What you see from the inside of a fast moving. Basis sanitizes and uh, unreal. Uh, you very, you very, utterly, thank you, utterly removed from the authentic sign, sound, and smell outside. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Luis. I think Roxana okay. is next. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, the best way to experience uh, any destination is by foot without an itinerary. Wondering where you a spirit lives, lives you. Even in the largest cities, the savvy traveler plunges. Mm -hmm. into the very center of town and walks down the nearest street, experiencing, experiencing the actual life of the people while looking into the gro grocery stores and Courtyard. courtyards. Mm -hmm. You eventually get to many of the same cities that are on the bus Route, route. Mm -hmm. route, route, mm -hmm. the museums, the monuments, the city hall, but you will have a witness, witnessing mm -hmm. so much more because you will have felt the contemporary life of the city you're visiting. But what if I get lost? People ask. No one ever gets 
permanently lost in a major city. Eventually, a troll, trolley? Troll, trolley or a bus passes with the world's central station. On east front, and you can easily return to the center of town. Besides, the most wonderful thing can happen if you do get lost, such as stopping at the City Walk Cafe to sit and relax, and them asking direction from the locals at the next table. Hopefully, hopefully your trip may be enhanced, enhanced, enhanced by this encounter. Here are a few ways to make the most of your travels. Good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, maybe he left. Maybe he had internet problems, I think. Ooh. Oh, no, Miguel's there. There's Miguel. Ah. Yes, it's my, it's my throat. Okay. Now, before you go, before mm -hmm. you depart, spend time in a library or, or bookstore, learning about about the, the story and culture of, the, or of your destination, so you will better understand the place you're visiting. Thank you very much. Mirna, can you continue the next one? Okay, more around like uh, local, use the local subways, trains, and these buses. You'll not only save money, you will learn how people live there and you'll gain a realistic perspective of the city. Okay, thank you. Doris. Check the bulletin board. Bulletin boards list free lect lectures, concerts, workshops, and social gatherings, giving you a chance to join or meet the area's most dyn dyn dynamic, dynamic? Resident, dynamic residents. Good. Marvin? Uh Take a walking tour. If you must book a guide tour, select the non-standard inexpensive kinds con conducted of food. Good, and Ivania. So uh, next time you feel lured by a sizing bus tour, save your money and instead wander around on your own. I promise you a time you will remember fondly. 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 Hey, great. So now that we had the reading exercise, here we're going to try to answer with the different words from there, okay? So we're going to look and find some of the words in order to complete it. But first, here we have some words in black, in bold. This is captivated. Captivated means grab your attention. Ah, uh, it captivated me. It grabbed my attention. Oops, sorry. Savvy, savvy means intelligent, smart. Hey, she is very savvy. She is very smart or intelligent. Plunges. Plunges is that you, you do without thinking. Only you, ah. It's like YOLO, you, you live the life only once. Let's do it. This is plunges. Mm -hmm. You are not scared to try new things. Mm. Then the other word is, ah, the other bold word is dynamic. Dynamic is like energetic with a lot of energy. Okay? Yes, teacher. 
Perfect. Okay. So now I'll give you five minutes with your partners. And that way, if you need to read again, you can go over. But in five minutes, you should be able to answer the five statements that are there. All right.
Okay, we ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent, let's try. What is something that captivates you and you're by it? The light. Delighted. Good, good. Delighted, very good pronunciation, delighted. delighted. Oh, delighted. Okay, good. What about two? A saveler, a safe, sorry. A savvy traveler is? Experienced. Experienced. Okay. Okay. Maybe. All right. What about the next one? If you plunge into an activity, you probably? Threw yourself into it. Good. Good. If you enhance your reading skills, you? Upgrade. Upgrade them. Upgrade. Dynamic people are more? Interesting, interesting than interesting. others. Okay, very nice. I think we're pretty good in it. Here we can see that the one that we have is uh, delighted, excellent experience, throw yourself into, upgrade, and interesting. Any questions? Yeah. All right. So now we're going to go to the final test. In the final test, you can see we have five different sections. Section number one, the listening, and it's super easy. Part one is only true or false. So you listen and you select true or false. Part two is more information. You have to listen for specific information, not only true or false, but what information they give you, okay? That's letter A. Letter B is simply about vocabulary. You need to choose which is the best word to complete the sentence. Okay, you have a lot of choices. You select the best one to complete all of those sentences. There are going to be eight of them in part one. And then in part two, the same thing, but less choices, which is the correct word to join the sentences. How do we join the sentences? With six sentences. Okay, so part one, eight sentences. Part two, six sentences. Then we have part three. Part three is simply look at the words that's here and then you have to put it in the correct form. So only put this in the correct form, not the entire sentence, only what is inside the parentheses. Okay. Part two is using the future perfect. This is have in the verb in past participle or the future perfect continuous. This is have been and the verb with ing. So remember, have or has, verb past participle, have or has been, and the verb with ing. Then we have fill in the blanks, which is using the words about, in, of, with, or to. If you notice, you're going to use the word of two times. The others only one time. And the same thing for the next part. You're going to use these words to complete all of the sentences. And the last part is simply a reading. You're going to read and select if it's true or false according to the first reading. And in the second reading, the same thing. If it's true or false according to the information in the second reading. Any questions in this moment? No. No? No. Okay, good. So we're gonna have, we're gonna remake our groups. We're gonna get started. I'll give you some time and then we'll come back. Don't worry, we also have tomorrow, but the idea is to advance today and try to complete as much as possible today. Yes? All right.
All right. I see many people put that we are ready. Yes. Yes. Let's take a look at the answers in case there's any questions or a problem with any of the things in the system. For listening, what did you have for number one? True. Okay. True. Good. Number two? False. 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 Number three? True. True. Mm -hmm. And number four? True. 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 Okay. What about part two? Which was the correct information? The first one is for four years. Okay. The second one, his professor to repeat for herself. Okay. Yeah. Goals advisory encourage him to be patient. And number four. Uh, Carl is worried about offending his classmates and professor. Okay. Yeah. Great job. As you can see, all of our answers are correct. There we have. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at letter B. Letter B was choosing the correct vocabulary or phrases. What was number one? Illegal. Is? Illegal. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Illegal. Okay, good. Number two? Dis disagreeable. Disagreeable. Hmm. Okay, okay. All right. What about number three? Unfair. 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 Okay. Number four? Or honest. Honest. Hmm. Number five. Responsible. 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 Hmm. Good. Number six. Irrational. Irrational. Okay. Number seven. Disapproving. Okay. Number eight. Unscrupulous. What is the pronunciation? Unscrupulous. Unscrupulous. Okay, good, good. What about part two? Which is the correct word to combine? Unless. 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 Number two? Only if. Only if. Yeah. Good. Number three? Unless. 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 Number four? Even if. Even if. Even if. Number five? Only if. Only if. Only if. And the last one, number six? Unless. 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 All right. Well, another hundred, right? That is the great part. Good. Look, all the vocabulary is correct. Disapproving. You can check. Irrational, responsible, honest, unfair, disagreeable, and illegal. Great job, guys. Great jobs. Now, here we have a little bit of writing. So, what was number one? What was the correct way? Hadn't talked. I wish I hadn't. Oh. Or haven't. Haven't. That's perfect. Right. Mm -hmm. I hadn't talked. Talked. Talk Good. Number two. I had problem with the number two. Okay. okay. Number two wouldn't yeah. have tripped. Okay. I wouldn't I, have. I wouldn't would have tripped. Wouldn't have. Okay. Okay, number three. 
Had a sing. Had a signal. Good. Had assigned. Number four. Had as as. Had spent. Has spent. With T. With T. Had spent. And number five. Had practiced. Okay. All right, good. So let's take a look here. In this part, we're going to go ahead and check part two tomorrow. But right now, we're going to check part one. So as we can see in part one, correct, hadn't talked. Number two, wouldn't have tripped. Number three, had assigned. Four, had spent. And number five, had practiced. Okay. Teacher, can you share number two of part two? Uh, yes, 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 of course. We're going to check. Only for, because I have the, a mistake. No and, problem. In okay. here, in part two, number two is we'll uh, have studied. We'll have studied. Well, sorry, we'll have been studied. We'll have been. Mm -hmm. I write that uh, study. Why been we the study? Uh, because Paula will have been studying Japanese for four years. By January, Paula will have been. It should I have been a little been, bit different. I it think have been, been is with uh, past continu we continue, right? Yes, correct. We press uh, uh, future continue. Yes. Because is the four years is not completed. The four years should be will have been studying. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna pause right there. Tomorrow we're gonna finish and review and discuss the rest of the things. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Good job. Good night. Good night. Hey. Bye. 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 Bye.